So let me know how y'all think your boy, your boy did on this cut. I know I didn't get the whole thing recorded, but you know, I do what I could do. After this, I got an interview with Fox 26 out of Houston. Uh, it's supposed to air later on tonight because they put me on the chat on their news channel. One of the dudes called the Passport Bros Johns and the two girls he had with him. So we're gonna talk about that. And then uh, after that, that's what y'all gonna that's, that's what y'all gonna see. Y'all about to see me on the Fox. Hello, YouTube. It's Austin Oliver. Starting off with another vlog. Today is Thursday, January. 19th I believe it is 2023 I'm in Bangkok Thailand and I am headed to the gym again today's my last gym day of the week I need to buy some new gym clothes but today yeah I need to go buy a mirror uh, so I can cut my hair I need a haircut I need to get another black uh, baseball cap because so I can wear a hat because I just want to and I only have one and one and it's too memorable I don't know if you can hear my voice or not. I need to find some better allergy medicine, man. They don't have the equivalent to, or I haven't ran into the equivalent of Claritin D 12 hour. 24 hour does not work. It is not, 24 hour Claritin D does not work. That shit works for like two hours and then you're back in just, that's why I'm the way how I am now. But we about to go do that and we're walking over here right now. I'm gonna stop and give me a Red Bull because, uh, yeah, without Red Bull, this congestion. I don't know if you guys have ever experienced sinus pressure, but it puts you to sleep. At least for me, it puts me to sleep and it gives you a headache. And I can't do very much like that. That's not really a functioning lifestyle. So we're about to walk and y'all see me go to the gym and then go to the store. Get everything I need to get. And about the uh, Thai chick, the one, the, the one I had in the past two vlogs, uh, her name was Kate. You won't be seeing her. Uh, you might see her again one day. She won't be seeing her again because she doesn't live here or she she's moving around but i believe she lives in bangkok so but she's not here she's not here right now she just left to another city in thailand so i'm gonna have to find somebody else to do vlogs with shouldn't be too hard because thai chicks are pretty nice they uh they're if you ask them to do something with you they'll help you you know i've had people walk anywhere outside the united states people walk around the goddamn city helping you find out where you need to go that's how nice people are and they're like that here in thailand too so we're going to try to find somebody else to uh go to a uh, floating market go to other couple places that i need to explore and show you guys For some reason, this Red Bull doesn't do anything for me, but this one does. I don't know if I'm gonna like the flavor. That it looks like that's like the cough drop flavor, but whatever. I need something. Rice? No. I'm not, no. Thank you. 55. Just because someone like Kate, the girl that was my tour guide in uh, Bangkok out here, that was my first two vlogs. The two vlogs, it was two vlogs there. Does not mean I'm sleeping with him. Does not mean I'm in a relationship with him. 
we are just friends until I fucking tell you that hey we're in a relationship or this is somebody I'm taking serious that's that but as far as you know these are women that are walking down the street and I say hey I'm a black guy in Thailand I'm a foreigner and I need somebody to show me around you're from here can you show me around that is not me stop saying oh you need you need to find you a different woman she's not my woman to begin with I just got here I just got here I just got here I, that's not my woman I love Tyler. So, whatever I do in my daily life, you guys don't know about it. Okay, I'm not the YouTuber that goes around showing pictures of women or videos of women that I'm sleeping with. That is my private life. Now, if I ever get a woman that I feel like is gonna be my wife or a serious girlfriend that I move in, of course she'll be on camera because that'll be part of the content is me showing y'all uh, what the potential is of you moving overseas and finding an overseas wife. But until then, shut the fuck up. Yeah, I remember whenever I said, oh, I think I found my wife in Brazil. Do me a fucking favor. Pull up a picture of her. Pull, tell me what her name is. Tell me what city she's from. You don't know none of that shit because I keep that private. All right, so like I said, I need to go buy a hat. So we're about to go to this place called uh, Chatuchak Market. This is something that Kate showed me, so she's not here anymore. So she told me to go here to buy a hat. So this is the market I just arrived. This is the market that she said to come to. Uh, none of it's in English, so I don't know what any of it says, but uh, we're about to go. It looks like nothing's open. I think the sign, I've seen the number five on the sign. So I think nothing opens until about five. We do got some hats and stuff right here. Five o'clock is about 52 minutes away. So I got some time to hang around here if nothing's open yet. Uh, but I guess you will see more people. Do you know what time everything opens around here? Uh, usually on the weekend, Friday, Saturday. Oh, weekends. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Sundays all open. Oh, okay. Now. Okay, thank you. So. I guess the the thing was right whenever it said this is a weekend market so looks like there's a lot of shops so i'll come back tomorrow to look for a hat or i just go to the mall right now but yeah everything's closed so let's try to see if we can find a hat at the mall all right so okay i came up uh, all right so i got a uh motorbike to the union mall here it's my first time at this mall but they got a little outdoor mall out here and then uh I'm gonna go inside and see if we can find a store that has hats. I'm having a hard time finding the hats, the baseball cap. You know what I mean? That I've seen people out here with them on, but it's not that easy to find one. So let's see. Let's see if we can uh find a hat in here somewhere. This seems to be a little more uh, local of a mall. I'm not seeing too many foreigners in this mall, except for that guy. Let me not speak too soon, I don't know yet. So over here it says that there's a uh, more street fashion on this floor. This is the second floor. Well, the floor above the the entry floor, but there's a floor below that, so I guess it's technically the third floor. Uh, 
So we're gonna see if they got some over here. Doesn't look too much like streetwear over here though. I mean, I guess maybe in Thailand the streetwear is different, but I know they have some similarities when it comes to. I think streetwear is universal worldwide. Uh, I'll finish recording whenever I find a part. So I'm, I, this shoe store caught my eye because they have the Yeezys. Say what y'all want about them. They got the Yeezys. They got all the the uh, the shoes. Sneakers. They got these. I wonder how much are these right here. I'm asking. We'll find out later. But those, I don't, you know, I don't like those. I don't wear those kind of shoes, but I'm pretty sure my viewers want to see. So I'm walking by looking for the hats. I don't, it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to find the hats that have like the baseball caps with the American teams on them. So I was walking by this and I found these very, very nice shirts. Very nice quality. I'm wondering how much they are. Oh, well, hold on, sorry. Fucking camera. I found these very, very nice shirts. They have a very nice quality to them. I'm trying to wonder how much they cost. Uh, I like this shirt. And I like the one behind it, but I also saw this one, and I like the way how this one looks. I haven't seen it in a mirror, so I'm gonna go check it out. So, uh, I'm gonna give you guys a reason why I can never live in Thailand permanently. You guys have been following me long enough, you've heard me say a few times, not many times, a few times that I have uh, chronic sinusitis, meaning that my nasal cavities, uh, my sinuses, I should say, get extreme pressure to the point where it puts me in a sleepy state and I'll be just sleepy and just like like right now I'm just confused as hell about nothing and then I'll take a Claritin D 12 hour not the 24 hour 12 hour and that one will I'll take that twice a day and that'll wake me up and keep me alive but they don't have they only have the Lord's Dine 10 milligram in Thailand and I asked them why and she said the other the drug that's in Claritin D which is a Pseudofedrin sulfate, 120 milligram is illegal, and you can only get that at the hospital, and you can't take it home. I don't think she said you can't even have a prescription for it.
don't get me wrong, I would like to stay in Thailand. Uh, I think my experience would be a lot better if I could think straight, but they don't have the medicine I need, and I, I just simply cannot survive without that medicine. So I don't know. I'm going to have to talk to a doctor and try to figure out something, but yeah, it, to me, it's like a diabetic not having his medicine or whatever diabetic shoes. I just can't. So after looking all day, I was finally able to find a mirror here. About 259 baht. After looking all day, I was able to find a mirror here for about 259 baht, which is about um, six, nine dollars or something like that. So, I think that's the smallest mirror I'm gonna find. The store is called uh, Home Pro, and I'll send y'all. I'll show y'all at the end what the store looks like, but it's just basically like a Home Depot. So I, I got the mirror, and <laughs> this is an older lady that's been staring at me the whole time from the minute I got in the store. I tell y'all, it's a tank top. It's, it's the workout clothes. I'm telling y'all. Anyway, uh, I'm about to go get me a watermelon shake. Show y'all my haircut. I need to wash my hair bad. It's part. It's part of the reason why my allergies are bad. The stuff, believe it or not, the stuff that sits in your hair, like pollen and stuff, and just your hair being dirty, can contribute to your. Uh, sinus pressure if you have the same issue as me so i'm about to go home and wash my hair like i said and cut it and show y'all and i think that's gonna be it for today um i get this So I took my allergy medicine and I feel better. Not 100%, but I'm about 80. So 80 is good. I'm about to wash and cut my hair and I'm about to show y'all this process of that. Your boy, your boy did on this cut. I know I didn't get the whole thing recorded, but you know, I do what I could do. After this, I got an interview with Fox 26 out of Houston. Uh, it's supposed to air later on tonight because they already put me on the chat on their news channel. One of the dudes called the Passport Bros Johns and the two girls he had with him. So we're gonna talk about that. And then uh, after that, that's what y'all gonna that's, that's what y'all gonna see. Y'all about to see me on the Fox. Thank you for watching the video to the end. I appreciate all your support and your consistent views. If you would please do me a huge favor and go to my Facebook page, The Austin Holloman, and go to my Twitter account, A Groomsman, and follow me on Instagram at Austin Holloman. And so if you haven't already, subscribe to the YouTube channel, join the Facebook group, Enlightened Western Man. I truly appreciate it. And remember, YouTube does not support my type of content. They demonetize content like this a lot. Your boy is getting death threats behind trying to put out these videos. I don't know why for you guys to learn about the culture in Brazil and other countries. But if you feel that you value all my work, hard work that I'm doing, my cash app is dollar sign Austin Holloman, just like my YouTube account. Dollar sign Austin Holloman. I'd appreciate any donations, everything to support. I love y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video.